Welcome to Grapevine Computer Access. If you have difficulty using a standard keyboard or mouse, Grapevine can help. There are two distinct ways of accessing Grapevine. One is with a mouse or other pointing device, for example a joystick, roller mouse, head movement tracker or eye gaze. The other is called scanning and can be done with one or more buttons or switches. In this video, I'll be showing you how Grapevine is used with a mouse or pointing device. In the second intro video, I'll show you how scanning works in Grapevine. There are three main features in Grapevine. An on-screen keyboard, a mouse control feature called Easy Clicks, and shortcuts, which offer quick and easy ways to perform common tasks on your computer. Let's take a look at the on-screen keyboard. First, I'll show you five features that make typing easy and efficient. 1. Word Prediction As you type letters, Grapevine predicts the word you're typing and offers suggestions here. 2. Next Word Prediction For every word you type, Grapevine predicts what the next word will be. Here the word 2 is the first suggestion, because the word welcome is most often followed by the word 2. 3. Word Extension Now we want to type the word Grapevines. The word grape is predicted, and if you hold down the mouse button while clicking that, it gives you words that start with grape. Grapevine appears as a suggestion, and we can use the same process again to find the word grapevines. 4. Phrases You can save your own words and phrases in Grapevine. For example, the phrase on-screen keyboard has been saved. Now if you type O, the phrase appears as a suggestion here. 5. Auto-typing I want to finish the sentence now by typing a full stop. It sounds simple, but there are actually four button presses involved. Backspace, full stop, space, and shift. Now I'm ready to start the next sentence with a capital letter. Using Grapevine, all I need to do is press one button, full stop, and it automatically does the rest. This is just one of several techniques Grapevine uses to make typing as efficient as possible for you. Another important thing to mention is that Grapevine learns the words you use over time. I'll demonstrate this by typing the same sentence again. So the more you use it, the better it becomes at predicting what you want to type. Let's take another quick look at phrases. See how quickly you can add large amounts of text, just with a few simple clicks. They're also very useful for filling out forms, usernames and passwords online. Grapevine's keyboard is resizable, so you can make it as big or as small as you like. And there are several different colour schemes available. One more thing about the keyboard. If I press this function button, there's a range of additional buttons available, including cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, save and print. Now let's take a look at the Easy Clicks mouse control feature. If you can use a mouse or pointing device but have difficulty doing things like double click, right click and click and drag, this feature can help. To access Easy Clicks, you can press this button. Now let's say you want to open this folder on the desktop using a double click. You simply choose the double click tool here and click the folder. Similarly, if you want to move this window, you can choose the click and drag tool here. Simply click once to start the drag and click again to release. You can use the same tool to resize the window. If you can't perform any mouse clicks, you can use a grapevine feature called Dwell Click. This automatically performs a click if you hold the mouse over a target point for a set period. Now you can type and perform mouse clicks without needing to physically press a button at all. Finally, we'll have a quick look at shortcuts. You can access the main shortcuts menu by pressing this button. I'm going to use shortcuts for Word to format the text in my document. Shortcuts are covered in more detail in the second Grapevine intro video, which focuses on scanning. 